is a big fish. Yeah, this is a big fish. Oh, the bloody big fish. The ultimate challenge for dinghy angling in UK waters must be catching a fish in excess of 100 pounds from a trailed boat. Fishing from your own boat brings with it a degree of self-satisfaction that conventional charter fishing simply cannot match. But unfortunately, not every angler has their own small boat to fish from. Catering for those that haven't is Dromore-based charter skipper Ian Burrett, who operates a 19-foot strike liner which in April of each year he trails up to Loch Aline on the Sound of Mull to fish for big common skate. I think I've been in another fish now for about 15-20 minutes and it's causing pain now. This is this is the bit you've got to get through. But I'm still struggling, I'm still it's still holding on to the bottom and this is the as it's, it's been said before, it's this is the hardest bit. It's just getting that suction off the bottom. And you've just got to put as ma maximum pressure on it until one of us is going to give <laughs> and hopefully it's the fish that's uh, I don't know <laughs> I wouldn't have it any other way this is this is the ultimate this is we're all specimen hunters and these are all specimen fish so they're not going to come easy so, uh, I think it'd lose its edge if it come too easy You've got, to, you've got to earn your points. And once you've hooked them, you just want to see them. Because they're all something else. I think you better come back to me in about another quarter of an hour, I think. Oh, God, this is going to be a long process. Tackle, accommodation and years of dedicated experience all come as part of this package. Right, I've been fighting this now for about 50 minutes. It seems a lot longer than that. But uh, I think I'm gaining now, thank God. I certainly don't want it to dive again because I'll just about tuck it out. I mean, I'm not as fit as I used to be. And these certainly do test you. But, uh, it's been a great, great, great fight. I've got gained a lot of line. It's took me down again twice. And with these things, when they decide to, to run, you've got to let them run. It's, you just don't stop them. Come on, a big one. Yeah, the guff in the fish can look pretty cruel, but uh, I've, got it, I've got this one. There's many, many stories of fish being gaffed half an hour later. The same fish. If the fish was in distress, we just wouldn't feed. The record's actually going to tag three fish in one day. Yeah, it's just a small one. <laughs> Right there, pull, pull mate, pull. Oh, he's got that small. We used to use 10 ohms for this game, but the 10 ohms can just get hooked around there without the barb ever penetrating. So that's beautiful hook there, you can see the barb just there. Then we'll just take a look with the nudge there, and she's out. Cool. As is always the case here, after measuring for weight estimation, this fish was released within minutes and on its way back down. Lochaline has a car ferry terminal linking it with Fishnish on the nearby Isle of Mull. Providing you don't get in the way of the ferry service, the loading slip can be used to put small boats in, as we are doing here. To anchor successfully in over 500 feet of water, a good heavy anchor and chain 300 metres of 6mm draw cord and an Alderney ring are essential. Baits need to be big and presented on a 12 oar hook tied to around 7.5 feet of 200 pounds mono. The running line on the reel needs to be at least 50 pounds breaking strain quality braid. 170 pound skate is a first skate and a personal best skate. Whatever's on here is one mighty powerful little fish. Over an hour and a half, over in 40 minutes with this fish, the reel is now getting very hard to turn. Into one at last, but after after what's just happened today, with the hour 40 minutes for one about 200, I'm not so really sure that uh, this is what I want to be doing. 
nobody else wants to take it, so it looks like it's down to me. Ideal skate territory is soft ground in four to five hundred feet of water, often tucked quite close into the shore. I thought I had it coming then for a few minutes. Nice to gain a little bit of line, but as ever, it's vanished. Putting as much as I can onto this one, try and get it shifted, but it's coming again. But I'm sure it won't be for long. Depending on the venue and size of tide, it can take as much as three pounds of lead even to touch bottom, though there are also marks where a pound will easily do the job. Fortunately, the bulk of the skate activity comes when the run starts to slacken, though Dave Devine did hook a biggie mid-tide that took one hour and forty minutes to beat. It's away again. So be fair warned and also be sure that both your gear and your body are going to be up to the job. And again. What can you do? Just hang on for dear life. It's just starting to show now. Because of what happened earlier with Dave's fish, we brought one of the gaffs. We've only got one gaff that's operational, so it's going to be one person gaffing. So what I'm going to try and do, oh yeah, it's a biggie. I'm going to try and get it in myself. Regan. So far we've looked at dinghy charter angling and catching aboard your own boat, but there are other ways of catching big skate from small boats. You don't even have to own your own boat, you can always hire one like at Loch Sunnard on the west coast of Scotland. further off now and uh, the deep hole seems to be a little bit further over to the uh, southwest. So we'll get over that way. There can't be that many places where you can take out a displacement dinghy fitted with an eight horse outboard and have a realistic chance of fish up to 200 pounds within five minutes of the shore. Look at this, 500 yards offshore, it's took the small bait once more, would you believe it? Been on about 20 minutes now, and I've retrieved about six foot of line, and it's just took it back again. Well, it's still on the bottom. I've had it up off the bottom a couple of times, but it's clapped down again. And I'm putting just as much pressure on as I do without anything breaking. But I've got to keep the pressure onto it to tire it out. This is called taking a rest. For me, not the fish. minutes into it. I've just had it up off the bottom about 20 feet and right back it went. Whew. 55 minutes. We can't even see it yet. But we're moving it. Bigger. Just give us a lift here, Phil. Took some doing, but at the end, well worth it. A nice big female. We've yet to establish the weight of it, but. Uh, We've done the measurements and we have the formula 
and we'll soon know the light. Yeah, we took the dimensions and um, according to the chart, uh, the, the wingspan as against the length and the weight of the fish comes out at 145 pounds.